Hey, it's me, back for more devlogs. Y yeah, things are happening. So first off, I'd like to say that right now this project is more meant for me to be just having fun and growing as a developer than an actual like serious attempt to remake Half-Life 2. I think in the last video that wasn't like totally clear and I overplayed the seriousness. So here's your warning now. That said, I wouldn't mind if it turned into something more serious later, once I have more experience uh, and just ability to do things overall. Point being, set your expectations low if you haven't already. I hope you'll stick around though, because uh, I'm still doing things. Oh yeah, and I also didn't mean to say console support last time. That was kind of a dumb on me. I just meant controller support. Alrighty. So today I'm going to start my recap of what I've done with movement for all the play types. This will probably be the most comprehensive of the devlogs right now, since I really haven't, like, this stuff's a ton of work, alright? <laughs> it's kind of hard to get much further than this. So this one is the most complete, and it's pretty likely that in the future I will uh, these devlogs will catch up to my progress pretty quickly. Hard to fit stuff into them. Anyways. I decided early on that I'd be using Unity's new input system as it's the only thing that works for VR, plus controller support is easy, as well as rebinding actions later. Anyways, once I'd figured out a solution for the key input, I was on to actual movement. The movement is physics-based like Half-Life 2, but for the moment it's very simple. All I'm doing right now is adding forces to the player to move, and then slowing it down with my own friction implementation. I created my own implementation of friction because Unity's default one acts in all directions, meaning you'd stick to walls, and I didn't want that. After fine-tuning the walking, I added the ability to sprint, albeit without the power meter, so sprinting is infinite for now. Hold shift to sprint, stop holding shift to go back to regular speed, etc. If you look closely, I've added a bit of smoothing between the walking and sprint speeds. Finally, I added crouching in, which is surprisingly difficult. Thankfully, I'd already added it to another game I was working on before this and just copied the code over from there. I remember it took me about a week and several YouTube videos to get that shit working. Unfortunately, I couldn't get crouch jumping to work, so I just left it the way it was for now. Instead, the player will only crouch and uncrouch when they're on the ground, until I figure out a way to implement crouch jumping. As for controller support, on top of the established movement, I've implemented the option to toggle sprinting and crouching instead of having to hold the keys down because it's more comfortable. PC players can use this feature as well if they so choose, but this one was mainly for people using controllers. With all that said and done, I've nicknamed this player controller Half Pancake for the flat screen versions of the game. For VR, I'll be building upon Unity's current VR solution that has been set up with OpenXR, a tool for building VR and augmented reality applications that work across different headsets. Deciding how to handle player input for VR was tricky at first. Unity has their built-in solution for it, but I felt like it didn't suit my needs, so I went with my own input that was similar to the flat screen modes, which also had the benefit of being able to reuse some specialized non-movement scripts, like the flashlight. Once I'd figured out how to handle input, I moved to movement. God, did I really make that joke while I was writing this script? I moved to movement? the hell, man? That's like barely even a joke. First off, initially I wanted to keep consistent with the flat screen versions of the game by making the movement physics based, but I quickly realized I'd have to redesign many parts of U Unity's VR implementation for that to work and... Ain't nobody got time for that! So instead, I'm using a character controller approach. I'm going to be sticking close to Half-Life Alex right now, and I'm treating it as the gold standard jumping off point for VR games. I've made implementations of continuous move, continuous turn, 
teleport move and snap turn that are all functional at their basic levels and will get you around the world just fine. There are some missing features, however, particularly that I don't have shift movement implemented yet, but for now these movement options are good enough. I've obviously nicknamed my VR solution Half XR, in keeping with the flat screen solution. That about wraps up the first of hopefully many DMB devlogs. Next time we'll be focused on either the weapon system or how the HUD for flat screen modes is coming along. I think it'll be exciting to see some visual components start to shape up as I move further into the game's mechanics. With that said, thanks for watching the video. Like and subscribe. Or, or don't. No, actually do, you should. It, it does something, I promise. Okay, bye.